All right, road trip today, guys. We're actually going to do a little bit of research. We're going to get a tour of one of the growing spaces, greenhouse domes, geothermal. The grow dome is set up as a tropical. Yeah, like a zone seven, eight. So very excited to see this style. He's a year round system. He's got banana trees and papaya. So this, I think you guys are gonna like this one. Real excited. We're excited. We want a special greenhouse that we can enjoy all year round. A 33 foot geodesic dome greenhouse will look like this on our property, but the inside will look like this. A lush, verdant escape in the middle of winter where we can grow food, flowers, and plants, hang out and enjoy the vibes in a green oasis. So today we're visiting a dome greenhouse that utilizes a ground to air heat transfer system to help stabilize temperatures year round and allows for growing tropical plants. This air transfer system, also known as geothermal or climate battery, is what we're gonna do because of our elevation and our cold winters. Gary built his greenhouse seven years ago with the goal of housing tropical plants and having a place to hang out in the wintertime. So, oh, ahead. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, it kind of... Oh man, this is like just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. And the wow. So there's a, there, there were at one time 80 different varieties of plants in here. That's papaya. Wow. 80 varieties of plants. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's gotten a little less. Yeah. But there's still a huge variety. Like there's four kinds of papayas. There's two kinds of dragon fruit over there. Okay. Oh, yeah. I see the dragon fruit yeah. in there. Yep. So we, this is moringa, and it's it, it's not behaving all that well. That's a super uh, food. Yeah. Yeah. And, and this is African bitter leaf. Okay. And it's it's like a bitters. Yep. Yep. And I just made a smoothie with it the other day. I cut. See, I cut the top of that one off. Okay. Yep. And uh, I blended lemon juice and pineapple juice with it. And, and this is called Jabba de Cabba. It's a plant from Brazil in the Amazon. It, it has flowers on the trunk here. Once it matures, oh, the, yeah. the trunk gets covered in flowers and you'll have grape like fruit okay. all up and down and all year round. Wow. This is a tropical mulberry. Okay. And I had it went all the way up to the ceiling. Wow. It just it just likes this environment. Okinawan spinach. Oh. This is longevity spinach. Okay. This was a tomato given to me by my nerd friend. Yeah. It, it's a grafted tomato. It's a wild rootstock. You cut it back 90% and look at this. Yeah. <laughs> and the more you cut it back, where it, like these growing tips, yeah. it forces these to develop. Okay. So the energy goes into the tomato and some celery, some more basils. This is a... Uh, Australian beach cherry. This is uh, miracle fruit. Um, oh, the miracle fruit that makes sour things taste sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is the sweet potato one. All in here. Yeah, Rose I was kind of seeing that. I was wondering if that's. Chard. Oh my gosh. I have three varieties of bananas. Three. Mm. Huh. And you see, look, there's the, the attic fan. Yep. And see, that's going full blast. Yep. Yeah. Yep. The thermostat. Okay. It has two places to plug in a heater. Okay. You should probably just do one. Okay. And I keep it at 70. 70. There's one over there. Mm -hmm. And right now it's 70.7, 70.9. Okay. And uh, look, look, in, look in the water. You can see how clear it is. Oh, wow. Man, the size of those fish. Yeah. This is definitely the most clear water yeah. that we've seen in any of the domes. Yeah. Anywhere. yeah. Anywhere. The pond feature comes with all growing spaces kits, and it's a key feature that helps regulate the temperature with a volume of water, and it allows you to put in fish to have more fertilized water where you can water your plants from it. And you can even have the option of having food fish like tilapia or trout if you wanted to. So you could have ornamental fish or food fish, and that can be a very strategic way if you're thinking of food security in the long term.
to have food fish. Gary doesn't use aquatic plants in his pond because he says the fish will eat them all, but he does have a unique way of filtering the pond, which is using a plastic bead system that pulls out the nitrogen and ammonia from the tank and filters all of the muck into a bucket. So he does this periodically and he really has the cleanest pond I've ever seen in all of the greenhouses that we've toured. Because Gary's dome can't take massive swings in temperatures, he works really hard to regulate the temperature in a few different ways. One is the attic fan and the ventilation that comes with the dome kit. A second is using thermostats to control the water of the pond. He also has a swamp cooler in the backside of his dome. And the, in addition, uses the ground to air heat transfer system, which is the fans and the corrugated piping that you see. Now his suggestion for us is that a more cost-effective way might be a mini split system. And so put your hand over that opening. Oh yeah. You can, you can really feel I, the air. I wanted to ask you to put your hand over the opening on the other side. Yeah, so that's the air coming in right out of the ground. Yeah. And so, what's the which? Where is the fan that's powering that, or is that? It's on the other side. It's on the other. Okay. Yeah, okay. I see. There's a fan down there. Yeah. That's that. Yeah. That, that comes out near where you were over there, and this comes out here. You can. And then there's so, a fan up there to yeah. circulate the air horizontally. There's a lot of moving parts here. Yes, there is. And and then this is the controller, the trans, the controller for the evaporative cooler, okay. and that's the uh, transformer. Oh, yeah. Okay. But see, the design is bad because for a greenhouse you don't want opening. Right. Oh, so okay. you don't want to water that. Mm -hmm. But see, I have a plug there. I have a plug there. I have another plug over. Two plugs over there. Mm -hmm. We were so grateful for Gary that he was sharing his knowledge about building the dome, incorporating the ground air heat transfer system, but also telling us about the incredible diversity of plants that he had. He had us tasting bits and leaves every time we turned around. The whole tour was just a sensory delight and it was easy to tell how much he loved gardening and apparently he's been doing so for over 50 years. After touring several greenhouses now, I did notice two distinct styles. Like Gary's dome, it was like a jungle packed to the max with all different kinds of plants. You know, in his, there was an outer garden bed that skirted the perimeter. In the center of his greenhouse, trees and plants were just growing out of the ground without necessarily any kind of raised bed. He had a few climbing vines, but mostly the shade was due to these tall banana trees. And it was definitely a gardener's delight, but it did make the footpath feel rather narrow and not a whole lot of room for three people to sort of sit and hang out together and look at each other. And his dome was a 26 footer. Now we also toured a 26 footer in Golden, which is one of growing spaces, uh, demo domes. And same thing, it was very uh, well overgrown with all kinds of uh, flora, but it did definitely, the more that the taller the trees were, the more it felt like it was a little jungle-like, like you were trying to find the other person in the dome. Now, on a different tour, we saw a 33-foot dome, which it's that's the size that we're getting. And the extra seven feet was definitely noticeable. And it definitely felt more spacious, and especially due to that higher ceiling of the 33-foot dome as well. But you could see in the design where we toured this, uh, there was definitely an effort to include some seating areas and some open space, which I felt was a really nice balance. So we're going to be trying to find that balance between growing a ton of different kinds of uh, vegetables and fruits and flowers and having a little bit of space so we could also hang out and enjoy it. And now for the fun part, dreaming of what we're going to grow inside. <laughs> 